Hello and welcome to CAD Graph Tutorials. So I'll be showing you how to create new floor plans using Autodesk Revit Architecture 2012. Okay, to start off, obviously open up a new project. Alright, uh, here on the project browser and on floor plans, you can see your already existing floor plans, which are ground floor, level one, site, and true north. To edit these, we go down to one of the elevation views, neither east, north, south, or west, it doesn't really matter. Just click one of them. In this case, I'll click north. As you can see here, the offset from the ground for level one is 4,000 millimeters, which is four meters, which is going to be pretty high wall. Obviously, we're going to have to fix this and just make it smaller wall to the standard of what it is. In Australia, the standard is 2,550 millimeters in a wall height. In America or UK, it might be different, but I'll just use 2550 for now. And you just edit that by double clicking and then type the number and hit enter. Alright, now that we've got the ground floor level 1 defined, to create a new level under datum next to opening here, we could get the level tool. Just click on that, and then as you can see, it's bring an offset tool again from level 1. Then just simply use your keypad and type in what the distance is from level 1 you want to be. Let's do 2550 again. Enter. And then you can bring the mouse over any way you want. Just, um, as a standard, I just bring it over below level 1 and ground floor just to make it look better. And when you've done that, you just hit S and then just click on it and just bring this over just to make it look better again. Alright, now that we've got level 1 and level 2 defined, we can also make other levels if we really want to, like we can create a 4 meter level floor, 4 meters, bring it under there again, and just bring it over here, and then just do that. So there we go, there's all the floor levels we've got, but you can do if you really want to just change them when you're doing like that, just double click the number and just change it, let's say, 8500 from the ground, there you go. We can also just change the names of the floors, so if you just double click on level 2 or something, you can change the name, so we'll just say um, staircase floor, or just type in staircase. And then, yes, and there you go, you've changed the name of the floor. As you can see, when you go back up to floor plans here, your ground floor, which we got there, level 1, level 3, and then we've got the staircase floor that we made there. Alright, thanks for watching the tutorial. If you'd like, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a nice day.